across the state are back in session this month, which means school buses are full of children and back out on the roads. Our Colleen Finney was in Richmond today with ways to make sure kids get to class safely. This story of safety starts before students even step on the bus. We ask that students stand back from the road a little bit, a uh, few feet from the road, until the bus is completely stopped. If they have to cross the street, we ask them to wait on the driver to motion them across the street. Lake says it's helpful if students have a cell phone to shine their light so the bus knows there's a kid there and that they need to stop. Once the bus arrives, get on as quickly as possible and listen to the driver. We have a motto here, uh, safety before schedule. Uh, if we have to run late because there's an issue, we're not going to rush uh, and, and risk injuring students to get to school on time. For student safety, there's, you know, there's nothing that can replace a student. And, uh, we just ask that you be patient. Drivers have a role to play as well. Shane Lake says as soon as you see a school bus or this sign, the first thing you should do is slow down and take a look at your surroundings. Well, anytime you see a yellow school bus, that should associate you with children and people getting on and off and that bus may stop, you know, buses stop anywhere there's a child to pick up or to let off. Lake says when a school bus driver stops, she has a 20 step process she must go through to get a student on and off, including things like checking their mirrors and making sure students sit down before moving to the next stop. In Richmond, I'm Colleen Finney, Fox 56 News. The Madison County Bus Garage is currently short 23 drivers. If you would like to apply to be a driver, we have a link inside this story on the Fox 56 News app.